question that is often asked is what about divergent rooted teeth or uh, molar teeth or uh, badly decayed teeth or endodontically treated teeth? Can you use the physics forcep? And my answer is absolutely yes. Oftentimes I'll take a, a surgical burr, even a carbide or a diamond, and I'll flatten out the lingual surface of the tooth so that you do have a purchase point for the beak. But it's the same simple rotation. Endodontically treated teeth, badly decayed teeth will rotate out without a problem. The only teeth that may cause a, a difficulty is those teeth that are ankylosed and those are just going to be difficult situations for us to deal with as practitioners anyways. But the physics forceps certainly can be used in most situations. Now if you do have a molar tooth um, that have, has divergent roots, what you may want to do is simply section it at the furcation and take it out as two separate teeth. Uh, maxillary molar teeth, the bone is usually pretty soft up there and, and, and I have pretty good luck taking those out in, in one total tooth. Uh, the other question is what if you have decay underneath an existing crown? Well, sometimes you should take the crown off first or it will come off first, but you're really engaging in the sulcular area of the tooth on the lingual or palatal aspect, so you're not really engaging the crown. But sometimes if you have a badly decayed, um, uh, badly decayed tooth, uh, under a crown, the crown may come off first and then go ahead and use your standard techniques using the physics forceps.